Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 8 of Need for Speed Carbon, where in this episode we're starting off in a little bit of a different place. We're starting in actually the main menu instead of the career menu, and that is because we are starting on the challenge series. Actually, before we do that, I want to go look at the reward cards, because I want to see what we have so far. We have a few more things to unlock for that stuff. Um... Yeah, so basically, um, pretty much every car in the reward card series are cars you can unlock to use in Quick Race or My Cars or whatever. Uh, and But if we go to the Challenge series over here, if you look at these, uh, there's unlocks. You can unlock the Switchblade spoiler, logo vinyls. This is all stuff that actually transfers over to the career mode. And uh, I want to have as much as I can in the career mode. So we're going to go ahead and run through the challenge series real quick. There's actually a very specific thing that I want to unlock for the career mode that I thought I unlocked in a different way, but I sure don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Canyon Duel set of races here and then basically make each of these three events an episode because they're all like, this is all the Canyon Duel and this is all Canyon Race, blah, blah, blah. So... Let's get started on the Canyon Duel, and it unlocks the silver version, of course, the silver difficulty, I should say. There will be a leaderboard if I was signed into the online on this game, but I'm not, so we're going to go ahead and just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and start this. Let's see how this goes. Challenge series in this game is not incredibly difficult, thankfully, uh, and we're also using a car that Hey, look, it's Need for Speed Most Wanted, almost. Except for there was no RX-8 in Need for Speed Most Wanted. And just like our previous episode of Racing Against Angie, we are basically doing the exact same thing. We are racing down the mountain, or the racing through the canyon, I should say. And I just have to stay on my opponent's booty to gain points. And then the next round will be the opposite. I have to avoid losing all the points I just got. So on and so forth. Uh, but yeah, fun thing about the challenge series in this game is that there's a lot of cars in here that are not in the career mode of this game. So this is the only way to drive them, pretty much. Unless you unlock them as bonus cars, which I think there's a few you can unlock. Um, which I might show off at the end of this Let's Play, actually. Just to show you every uh, little bit of content I really can, I guess. But yeah. Um, I'm going to actually try not to pass the other opponents, or the opponents in general. Because, I don't know, it makes it more interesting, I guess, and fun and longer episode. I don't know. I don't think anybody really cares. See, I wasn't kidding, too, when I said I was going to actually do the challenge series of this game after uh, completely neglecting it in Most Wanted. I'm going to stick to that promise, you know? That's just how it's going to go. Because so I believe... I don't know if First Street has a challenge series. I, mean, I think it might. I don't remember specifically. But I know that Undercover for sure does. So we'll go ahead and do that in Undercover as well when I get to it. Which will be, of course, in two games from now. Which is going to be a fun game to let's play because I don't know how I'm going to... Uh... uh make the parts work in it yet. I have to do some research for sure. And of course doing the challenge series means I have to play the console version because the Steam version doesn't have the challenge series and you can't easily install it because I've tried it. Ah, blah blah blah. PC version is good for things but not for that is what I'll say. Anyways, we're on Undercover so I'm going to shut the hell up about Undercover. We are playing at Need for Speed Carbon on the PC, obviously. It's actually a fairly long race, or uh, a long track, I guess you call it. Seems longer than Angie's boss race, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. No, quit getting away from me. I need to catch up. I don't actually really don't, I guess, but there we go. There's our first stage done. 270,000 points, and now I get the lead. Hooray! I love when the game starts me out literally uh, on the rev limiter. That's fun. Hit me. Yeah, collision 5,000. 
I get an extra 5,000 points because you hit me. That's how that works. See how this goes, though. I know I was pretty close the entire time going down, or uh, in the first round, but we'll see how the second round goes real quick. Pretty sure the last time I did this, I actually just passed the RX-8. <laughs> also, fun fact, uh, if I get far enough ahead, there is a 10 second countdown for the other person to be able to catch up. And if they don't catch up, I just automatically win. So we'll see, uh, if that happens, I'll accept it. I just didn't want to pass the other car. <laughs> I very well could have if I would have bullied my way in front of them, but I did not feel like doing so, so ow. That's my thoughts at least. Eh. Go! Go! I also appreciate that if you get them into the final little block there, uh, for how far behind they are, or behind you are, there will be no points changing. The points just stop. So they don't gain points, I don't lose points, so on and so forth. It's a pretty fun game mode, honestly. It'd be kind of cool to see us return someday. It's very unique, to say the least. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in any other game. Ah. Can I open? I can open photo mode. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, no. Okay. Kinda wonder how I was gonna get a thumbnail, and then I was like, oh yeah, photo mode exists. I already forgot. I am going to finish with over 150,000 points left, it seems. Yep, 160-something thousand. Obviously, not the uh, not the hardest race ever. And we unlock the American Racing Torque Thrust ST. Very cool. Because we did that reward card that I was looking at. There's our stats, and I guess we will go ahead and head on to our next one, the Silver Difficulty. Which is in the Plymouth Roadrunner, another vehicle that you cannot buy in the career mode. Very cool. And unlocks the gold Valley Valley Duel. Oh, that's the name of the track. I don't unlocks Canyon Duel Gold. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Maybe I'll be able to read someday. Oh my god, look how fucking fat the rear tires in this thing were. <laughs> Jesus. To battle the muscle cars too, we got a Chrysler 300 SRT8 in front of us, and of course our 69 Roadrunner. Which is actually funny enough, a car that I, uh, or a, well I guess a car that I know quite a bit about because of uh, reasons from my childhood out. I don't know why I went that hard. But yeah, I, uh, I definitely was exposed to 69 Roadrunners quite a bit back when I was a kid, which was pretty cool. One of the, uh, the coolest things when I was a kid was like, uh, some of the car stuff I did, or was introduced to, I guess. I don't know. And you can tell it's a 69 because the back of it's different from a 68, and then the 70 was completely different. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Can't believe I lost 5,000 points by fucking wrecking into the other car. That sucks. You know, I might actually take pictures of all the cars because I don't remember specifically what cars I use through all of these events. So you know what I'm gonna do real quick? We're gonna go to photo mode. I'm gonna actually... Oh my lord, look how thick the rear tires on this thing are. <laughs> 
God damn. Let me take a picture of that real quick. So I have choices. I like having choices. I could have looked and seen what cars I'm going to be driving, but oh well. That's not what I do. I mean, sometimes it is. Could you go faster, 300C? And there we go. There's stage one done for the Roadrunner. Yeah, stage two goes for opposite stage. I don't know what to call it. I really wish this game didn't like have camera shake as much as it does. I think there might be mods to fix that, but I'm uh, not exactly a fan of it myself. It makes this game seem like it's running at a low FPS, but I know it's not. I know I'm not playing the Xbox 360 or PS3 version, or the original Xbox or PS2 version, because I think those also ran at 60 FPS sometimes. Not all the time. Uh, and also, if you did not know, yes, this game... Uh, Boy howdy, it sure does have frame rate uh, dips on the console versions. It very much does. There's also something I want to talk about at some point throughout this, but it'll probably be whenever I get back to the actual career mode, because it relates to the career mode. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a <laughs> something to look forward to. I don't know what the hell to call that. Also, a shorter race this time, and I'm still a uh, hundred thousand points ahead. It seems very nice. Well over a hundred thousand points. God, those rear tires are so thick. And there we go. We unlock the Canyon Duel Gold. One hundred thirty thousand seven hundred and fourteen points. It is a few, to say the least. Just just a few. Alright. Corvette Z06. I guess I won't actually take a thumbnail of this car, because this car actually is in the career mode of this game. Believe it or not. Wow. It's also, uh... I forgot about this. Oh my god. I actually legitimately forgot about this. What a silly event. Maybe I will take a thumbnail. Ow. Also, we're getting into very fast cars now. I will not spoil uh, how actually fast this car is until I maybe use it at some point. But you can see, it's uh, decently quick. And also, we get to see our our, our meme, the meme. It's, it's a meme, it's meme time in front of me. Look at that. This one might actually be difficult too. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think these really get hard, but I might be wrong. At least it also depends on how well I drive in this first round for the most part. As long as I keep getting points, I should be okay. Oh my god. It's like the... Oh, how the turntables thought that that mean. It is kind of funny. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if this is the exact track that you race on. I think it might be, actually, in the prologue of this game. The first episode, basically. It kind of looks like it with the, the straightaway coming up here for this, the, uh, the finish line. Yeah. Oh. Eh, maybe not, because this does not seem familiar. There we go. There's our first stage done. This game is so loud, I think it turned up my volume by accident. Let's give her a try for the second race. And before we go too far, I do want to do this. I like having options of what the- oh jeez. I love also running into walls apparently. Yeah, maybe I won't. I probably won't use this one as a thumbnail, just because I don't want to spoil it. For people who may not know uh, what this consists of. I don't know. 
We'll see. I have options. I like options. Go! Definitely more difficult than the previous ones, I'll say that much. Maybe the first L of the game. I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Oh, yeah. This might be the first L. Oh, shit. Get off my ass! Go! Come on. Keep me behind. Go! Oh, my God. I barely made it. Not the first L of the game. Actually, that wouldn't be the first L of the game. I did L um, at some point in the career. Yeah, 5,900 points. A lot different from 130,000, like the, the silver one. But there we go. That is our first section of the challenge series done. Canyon Duel, easy, medium, hard, bronze, silver, gold, blah, blah, blah. And it also tells me how much I won by, funny enough. And of course, uh, with that, if you go to reward cards, I have unlocked the American Racing Wheels, yada, yada, yada. And apparently having 100,000, oh, it's hard actually. It's like the one hard difficulty thing. Five Canyon Duels, blah, blah, blah. All right, anyways, uh, I believe that will conclude this episode of Need for Speed Carbon. So thank you all so, so very much for watching. And I guess, in the next episode, we will continue on with the challenge series. Hooray!